So for those of you who don't know, I'm Lisa from Lisa Nicole and kind of came up with this idea to do a monthly recap of our business and our personal life and you know what's been going on and what we're doing. So I'm going to probably say so a lot. The one thing that I do want, I want comments. I want comments about, you know, little habits that I have that might be annoying to you on video. Um, my background kind of sucks right now. I'm kind of in a hurry. I kind of wanted to get this done. It's on my to-do list. So here I am. I'm sitting actually in my office and it's a beautiful day outside, but I just don't feel like creating a, um, an outdoor video because I got things to do. So we're going through August here. And August, um, pretty exciting month. Um, we did some different things. We shot two weddings on the same day. It's a first for Lisa and Nicole, and uh, Raquel and I had to separate, and we hired second shooters. And Raquel had a girl named Jill Taylor from our hometown in Warren, Ohio. And I picked up um, Michael from Cleveland. And Michael's an amazing guy. He works with lighting, and he brought all of his lighting along, and we worked with um, remote lighting, and it was just a lot of fun. I Actually, I learned quite a lot about lighting. It's something that we really eventually want to get into. Um, but we had the weddings of um, Megan and John and Anna and Chad, and both events were amazing and beautiful and elegant, and we thank you guys for allowing us to be part of your lives and for capturing capturing your day. And for those of you who want to see the day, um, go to www.viewpicshere.com and look for the galleries and you can pick up on a little bit of what transpired on that day. Um, another thing, another event that we covered this year, actually we just did this a few days ago, was the um, St. Louis Nursery Crisis event and it was actually a uh, celebrity waiter event at Canyon Cafe. And we were actually following Brian Binkholder, the financial coach, but we ended up kind of covering the entire event and getting some shots of that. And you'll be seeing a video coming up pretty soon and some shots of Brian. And we did a um, kind of like a portrait session of Brian the next day for some things coming up in his life, a CD, a DVD, a book, you know, whatever he's doing. Uh, if you need any financial advice, that's kind of where you want to go. Um, Brian Binkholder on Facebook, he's the financial coach, and if you need any more information, it'll be there. And Derek's home, so I'm going to cut this short. Okay, so my son's back, and we're just going to go ahead and finish this. Hopefully he won't laugh at me while I'm doing it. Um, another thing that happened in um, August, um, if you follow my blog, you know that my mother's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and she's in a nursing home, and just trying to go as often as I can um, based in St. Louis. So I try to go back home to Ohio at least every couple of months and I usually end up doing a few shoots while I'm there and you know one thing I'd love to do is just see all my old friends and that's something that I'm gonna try to get together in September. I think I'm gonna line up like a senior shoot and see some of my old friends and visit my mom and take my stepdad out and hopefully I can get that all taken care of. Um, but the trip back home is always fun. Uh, the last time we just, we actually just got back in August and I took my whole family, um, my two boys, my daughter, my son-in-law, my grandson, and my one son's girlfriend. And one of the most amazing things that we love to do when we go back home is eat. One thing lacking for us in St. Louis is food. And I think we've just kind of, uh, Raquel and I, by the way, if you wanna see Raquel on here, kind of skip around. Um, tweet her at, at Racky and you'll see the name down here and let her know that you want to see her on video too. Uh, I think it's unfair that I'm kind of like stuck here by myself doing these all the time. So back to the food. Raquel and I, we always go out and we eat and we're pretty much not ever happy about the St. Louis food. Some of the best places that we've eaten here are Pie's Pizza, probably number one for us. Um, Erio's Restaurant in St. Peter's. Love Little Mickey's Barbecue, also in St. Peter's. Um, Ami's Restaurant, I think that's in O'Fallon. And something Ohio doesn't have that they have here are a ton of yogurt bars. And I'm not really convinced that frozen yogurt with a whole bunch of toppings on top of it is really good for us, but 
it sure tastes good. So we found a really cool place in O'Fallon and it's called um, Orange Leaf. And they probably have about maybe 10, 12 varieties of frozen yogurt and of course all the toppings. and.